Well, for you and today I'm going to teach you Apple Script 101 basics. So Apple Script basically is what you use to automate tasks on your Mac. It makes everything easier basically. So today I'm going to teach you all about the say co command, display dialog command, variables, tell command, try command, and the if statement. Let's start with the say command. So you type in say, quotation, and then whatever you want the computer to say. Then you press the little hammer thing that compiles it. There is my master. And then the computer says it. So that's pretty nice if you want to play a prank on somebody or if you want to say, I don't know, um, your job is done or whatever. If you want to do a computer alert. So that's the say command. Now for the display dialog. So you want to type in display dialog quotation mark whatever you want the dialogue to say so hello world now press compile and a dialogue will show up saying hello world now you can add there are a bunch of stuff you can add so for example you can add with a hidden answer this is with a hidden answer default answer you can also add um, you can make default buttons so buttons that would be about okay and cancel and then you can add default button you can do one two or three whichever one you want one so we'll do default button two so that these are a bunch of stuff you can add and there is a last one which oh okay, you know that's it all right so anyways let's add some of these in so we can do default oops, answer and then we'll do without hidden answer and we can do buttons where, oh yeah buttons thank you hello then you want to close that up so if I compile that, where am I? Oh, whoops, didn't spell that right. So, oh, whoops, all right, there you go. So if we start that, you see now it changed. I changed the buttons and you can type something in. And so you can press hello, all right. So we can, so that's what we can do. And if we add default button, default button two, what happens is the second button, hello, is highlighted in blue. So that's a display dialog, and these are really use really useful because um, you can ask for a password if you do with hidden password. So if you look, now when I type in, you can, there are bullet points instead of words. So that's pretty useful for tons of different stuff you want to do. And now on to variables. So you guys probably know what variables are, but unlike uh, Apple scripts, navbar, cookies, all that stuff. It's set. Now this is the name of the variable. So set pass one. Let's say password. Two. You can set it to um, a word. So how about password? So when you click that, variables are green, and that means if I do, if I do display dialog. Whoops. Display dialog pass one. If I do that, it'll do password, and that's the variable. So this is really useful because now that we know what variables are, we can do a bunch of different stuff. Like, for example, so set pass one to text returned returned of parentheses display dialog and now type in please enter password with title oh yeah that's another one you can do with title password and then you do with hidden whoops answer default answer there you go now you go on to close that up with the parentheses and so and then we'll do um display dialog pass once show you all right so let's do this 
Please enter password. So I'm going to enter the word um, ABC123. And now, as you can see, what happened is pass1 ABC123 was set to the variable pass1, and then display dialog pass1 was shown. So that's pretty cool if you want to save it to a text file, stuff like that. That's for another video. Um, now I'm going to show you the tell statement. So tell is basically you can tell an application and quotation and let's say tell application uh, script editor whoops make sure you put an end tell there to tell the computer that it ends there and then you can tell it to open a new window or um, say hello so we'll do that hello and as you can see the script editor just said that so and you can do a bunch of different stuff but that's basically the tell command so on to the next one try try is pretty nice because if it are uh, basically it's, it's great for codes and you can you can tell it to do uh, whatever um, make a folder make a new text file whatever and it's good because if it if something has already been created it won't it won't it won't go on an error message it'll just go to the next thing next code you told it to do so you can do try display oops display dialog and if display dialog doesn't work instead of displaying an error message it'll go to the next code so it's basically like tell but you can do different stuff with it and now let's go to if statements if you coded before you probably know what an if statement is but just a refresher so it's, it's a little bit different what you want to do is um let's say we have a uh, all right let's say we have display all right no here's what we'll do go back over here all right set pass one all right so here we can do a password enter so we'll do if pass one that's our variable is password then display dialog login complete all right and then you want to type in and if you can also do else so if the password isn't pass password then you'll do else say error display dialog error so let's try that out so all right let's enter password let's enter password first login complete but what happens if we don't enter password ASDQ alright error and then it shows that so this if statement is pretty good it's pretty cool too if you want to do a login thing and so that's how the if statement works and now let's so now basically that's that's how all of these work and uh, next week we'll do another Apple Script 101 so like and subscribe thank you